On Tuesday, the Palestinian delegation to the United Nations Human Rights Council was stunned when a speaker accused them of being the worst adversary of the Palestinian people. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to tell you Son of Hamas again silenced the UN in new speech. Mosab Hassan Youssef, the son of a Hamas leader, used the 90 seconds allotted to unwatch, an engo that exposes the council's hypocrisy to deliver a stinging critique of the Palestinian Authority's strategy of attacking Israel in international organizations while failing to improve the lives of ordinary Palestinians. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. I'm Mosab Hassan Youssef. I grew up in Ramallah as a Hamas member, Youssef explained. I address my remarks to the Palestinian Authority, which claims to be the Palestinian people's only legitimate representation. Where does your legitimacy originate from? I inquire. Youssef, also known as the Green Prince, abandoned his family to work as an informant for the Shin Bet. He then became a Christian and migrated to the United States. Youssef accused the PR of losing legitimacy by abusing Palestinians' rights, saying, you take Palestinian students from university and torture them in your jails. You torment your political opponents. The Palestinian people's misery is the result of your self-serving political goals. You are the Palestinian people's worst adversary. The 45-year-old was speaking at an event arranged by Israel's unambassador, Gilad Erdan to screen film of Hamas militants' atrocities in Israel. On October 7, titled Through the Voice and Eyes of Hamas, the screening was intended to expose the depths of Hamas terrorists' depravity and their civilian accomplices. The gathering was attended by about 300 ambassadors, diplomats, top unofficials, and Jewish leaders. Moza Hassan Youssef is now attempting to expose the true face of Hamas' genocidal death cult. He informed attendees at the UN gathering. I see much division and confusion, much hatred, much misinformation, and everyone speaks on behalf of the children, being on behalf of the defenseless. But I'm not sure what their true intention is. Today, I can speak on behalf of a Palestinian child, someone who was raised in that culture. In Palestinian societies, Hamas's first crime against children is not arming or encouraging them to carry out suicide bombing attacks. I had to go through religious intellectual indoctrination with one goal in mind, to destroy the state of Israel. This is Hamas' main purpose, he stated. There is no ambiguity in this reality. I speak as a first-hand witness to Hamas's intentions. My father is a founding member of the Hamas movement. I was present when Hamas was founded. I was there before Hamas was born. And I will be there when Hamas is dead, he stated to applause from the UN delegates. I am not a propagandist, I only speak for myself, and I do so with authority. So don't be misled and take my words with caution. Because Hamas is committing a crime against this generation and future generations, blaming Israel will not solve the problem, Youssef explained. Imagine I was a 10-year-old child when I defied Hamas. A Hamas top leader tied me to a post and whipped me with an electric cable. I'm not going to mention his name because he's not deserving. I lost my breath with each lash till I lost consciousness. My father was in prison at the time, and this leader mistook himself for my mentor. This is Hamas discipline in action. This is how they wanted me to be, a vicious savage like them," he went on. And when I felt that, the very basic intelligence of a child was not natural. But I still had to go to the mosque to please my mother and father and to obey these types of monsters. I despise talking about my personal struggles and being on the defensive. He, Mr. Erden, dislikes being on the defensive since that is what Hamas did to Israel on October 7th. However, this does not mean that we will not end the war, he added. The first crime committed by Hamas against youngsters in Palestinian societies is not equipping or inciting them to carry out suicide bomber operations. It is the religious ideological indoctrination that I had to endure with the goal of annihilating the state of Israel. This is the major purpose of Hamas Yusuf's death. There is no ambiguity in this truth. I testify as a first-hand witness to Hamas's intentions. My father is a founding member of the Hamas movement. I was present when Hamas was founded. I was there before Hamas was born. And as I previously stated, I will be there after Hamas is gone as the UN delegates applauded, he said. 
I am not involved in propaganda. I don't work for anyone. I just represent myself and speak on this authority. So don't be misled and accept my remarks with caution. Because Hamas is perpetrating a crime against this generation and future generations. Blaming Israel would not fix the problem Youssef elaborated. When I was a 10-year-old youngster and disobeyed Hamas, I was chained to a post and beaten with an electric cord by Hamas's top leader, who I won't identify because he's not worthy. I lost my breath with each lash till I lost consciousness. My father was in prison at the time, and this leader mistook himself for my mentor. This is Hamas discipline in action. This is how they wished for me to be, a vicious savage like them he went on. And the most fundamental intelligence of a youngster, which I felt was unnatural. It wasn't, but I still had to go to the mosque to please my mother and father and to obey these types of monsters. I despise talking about my personal struggles and I despise having to defend myself. He referring to Israel's permanent representative to the United Nations. Gilad Erdain dislikes being on defense since that is what Hamas did to Israel on October 7th, Youssef took note. However, this does not mean that we will not terminate the war, he added. According to the Jerusalem Post, Youssef stated last month on Piers Morgan's uncensored talk show that Hamas's massacre of Israelis opened the gates of hell on the Palestinian people, proving Hamas's determination to sacrifice Palestinian children and civilians. This is my plea, as a former Hamas member and the son of one of Hamas's founders, enough. If we don't stop them now, the next conflict will be much bloodier, he elaborated. According to the Jerusalem Post, Morgan also asked Youssef what his response was to pro-Palestinian activists who blame Israel for the war. Hearing stories from people who are pro-Palestine and those who use the so-called Palestinian cause since my childhood, they care the least for Palestinian children and their future. I am the legally authorized representative of Palestinian children. My inner kid is speaking, he responded. I don't want someone coming from London or from the other side of the world to tell me what the Palestinian children's suffering is, he added. These criminals have hijacked the Palestinian children and the Palestinian community, and everybody who supports them is complicit in their crime, Youssef continued. According to the Washington Post, he also stated that authentic Palestinians do not want their own state to be led by corrupt individuals. That's all for today's video. We don't want a Palestinian state, and I don't want one. Palestinian children require education, security, and life. This is what they require. They do not require another corrupt Arab dictatorship, Youssef informed Morgan. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.